ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Okay, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. I've had this game for a while and I wanted to play it for a while, but never really got around to it. But now that I saw that the the second one was announced, I figured I'd give this game a shot already. And why not record it? Yeah, I played it once. And I played it a bit ago, like a few days ago. But never really got around to it that much. So we're gonna start a new one. Uh huh. Radiant campaigns, while still challenging, are adjusted to be faster and more forgiving than normal, suggested for your first Darkest Dungeon experience. Normal campaigns are the original settings for the game, while there is no time limit to win. The campaign will be longer and more challenging than Radiant Mode. Stygian. Stygian campaigns are not for the faint of heart. Expect no quarter, no forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a tame, within a time, and hero death limit. Also, many gameplay settings are unlocked. Hmm. Now, what? I mean, this one says for your first darkest dungeon experience. So I'm kind of, kind of feel like if I sh I should do that one. No, I think I'll start my first one as radiant, because because I do want to play through the game again, because I know there are mods with it. I've seen some of the mods look really cool. I think I'll do Radiant for my first one. Let's see, what should I call it? Call it Blorf. There we go. Oh, cutscene. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. 
the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. The old road, oh boy. With the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Oh, there you go. What the fuck? <gasps> Gameplay. Map navigation to move to move forth. Click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Just okay. brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. While in a hallway, press D to move forward. Able to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead and behind the party to move them. Ooh. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Kill the enemy combat is turn based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Cool. Right. Seems easy enough. He missed. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Each item, if you take it, will occupy a space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory too. Press escape to close the window. Here go. Money. Interactive objects, curios while exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Hello? Gimme. <gasps> Got stuff. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Chest, gimme. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Alright, grape shot blast, range, debuff target, crits receive chance plus 4%. Huh. Okay. Or I guess everybody's just messing up. Oh my god. Zealous accusation. What, what kind of damage does this do? Does this say, yeah, it does the first two? Or not? Make them bleed. See if they can bleed. Oh boy, yeah. Accuracy base plus 15 damage is on all the well these guys aren't unholy but I'll do uh do that damage. Oh I'm bleeding, I didn't even notice that. Can I hit this guy? Let go hit oh I think cause this is in the way, right? No. Guess I can't hit. Guys, I can't get him. I'm bleeding. Now, how's he not dead? There you go. Ah, you can't hit me. 
There you go. Seize okay. this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Completing a quest. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the op option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Sick, but I got a chest, don't I? Oh. In adventure. Chest. Gimme, give gimme. Give what? Okay then. Open the chest just to get blighted, I guess? Fuck. Fast healer. Plus 10% healing skills while camping. Oh god. Sitiomania. Obsessed with food. Backtracker. No stress penalty when walking backwards. That sounds good. Don't really know exactly what all that means. But we'll learn. We'll learn. Welcome home. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet. These corrupted lands. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. Hmm, thank you. Quest goal, successfully complete your first foray into the ruins. Yeah, oh my god, look at all these. These, I guess it's just a checklist that I could do. So many, oh. Get help or you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help for controls in that mode. Right while in town, exploring, fighting, camping, and more. Thank you. Let me check options and make the audio up. Narration, I want I want that up. Waits. Hold fast rats in a maze. There you go, that's good. Really like the the narrator. Sounds good. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. The stagecoach is your hero lifeblood. You'll need to recruit all of these heroes to fill out a party of four. Drag and drop them into your roster. Okay, so. What better laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield? Upgrade the stagecoach network. While you're here, spend some of your starting heirlooms on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, click the plus symbol on the left and then click upgrade. We got here upgrading, which is this. Upgrading the stagecoach increases the available heroes for hire each week or increases your roster size. Oh. What's this? I can increase how many I get each week, increase my roster, or provides a chance of higher level recruits appearing with stagecoach. Guess I can't get that yet. But I get that. More arrive. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Thank you. Ancestors Memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Alright, is this, is this lore? Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. No matter where again. I get trinkets here. And they, I guess they give me legendary brace. I guess they give me stats. Because the trinket person selection reduces their cost. This is the number of little trinkets at the Nomad Wagon. Reduces the cost of the trinkets. Sick. There isn't much more you can do in town right now. It's time to embark on a quest. Click embark at the bottom of the screen. Wait, there's a fucking thing right here. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Right. I got all these. Oh shit. 
Right click. Dismiss hero, rename him. Warrior of Light, 10% damage to the torches above 75. Plus 10% healing skills at, at camping. In town, will only pray for stress relief. Prone to stealing items. What the fuck? Doesn't show how much damage it actually does for these. At least I don't know how to see. I guess damage right here is 6 to 12. Yeah, 12. 6 to 12. Okay. And I guess if it has a minus, that means it does 6 to 12, but 40%. So 60% of the damage. Damn. 50% of the damage. Oh my god. Alright. What about this bitch? Hard noggin stun resist plus to speed. No stress penalty. Walking backwards. Is not allowed to gamble while in town. Obsessed with food. Okay. These are new ones. My new characters. Plus two crit. Plus five crit range skills. Man manic for money. So she's good. Well, she's fine in the back three. Let's see what front two. I think having her in the third position might be good. The last gas one plus one speed if HP is below 50. 15 healing skills. All right, then. Well, I guess just might as well go on, go on a mission. Not much I can really do. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. This is where you select a quest and form an adventuring party of four heroes to embark on it. Click on quest to see their detail. Drag heroes into slots at the bottom of the screen to form your party and default party order. I can change the way the blood moves. Okay. Preferred position, that one. Second. This one I could do in the back. I think I think I'll do that. Here. Yeah. This one be anywhere besides the front. Your scout test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creature I've taken over, but don't delve too far. Goals, explore 90% of rooms. Okay then. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. You'll want to take different supplies depending on what region you are going to, how long the quest is, and your own preferences. But always bring some food and torches. For your first short quest, try bringing at least eight food and four torches. Right then. Food. All right then. You guess anything here? Bandages. Is I? Scouting to me. Guess I'll bring a couple bandages, shovels. I guess I also don't want to bring too much or else I won't be able to bring stuff back either, right? Okay, I think think I think I'll find what that alright. Okay, but what if I die on my first fucking run? <laughs> okay. Let's go, buddies. Ow. Spooky. <gasps> Torch! Thank you. Getting dark. They just random. Oh fuck. They just randomly get stressed sometimes. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to bleed. He don't got skin exactly right. Hey, about this pistol shot. 
empurra ela. Bash against unholy. Does it tell me what they are? I guess it'll be undead. Not unholy, right? I just want just big boy damage. There you go. Abomination cleansed from our lands. When most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push pull skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. Ooh. I'll go full crit build. Clears all corpses. So if I use it on. Wait. Oh, it does. Oh, hell yeah. And he got stunned. Oh my god. That's fucking Pog. Now you're dead. Yeah. Did I. <gasps> it's not trapped. And I get some more stuff. Awesome. Are often low on supplies. Hello, buddy. What's this? Even the cold stone seems bent. Hold up, preventing passage. Why is it? Oh fuck! The light is fading. The current torch level greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder things get. But the better the rewards. Oh. Right-click on a torch from inventory to boost the light. Oh my god, look at all that fucking negative. Jesus Christ. Okay. AoE. Pull? He pulled me? <gasps> Resist. Blinding. Stun. Damage mod. It's, it's fucking minus 100%. I'll buff, I'll buff this, man. Oh, look at fucking... Oh Execute my god, the impunity. damage. But how broken. Another one Absolutely. Dicked down. Ow. I keep trying to pull him. Resist. Fuck. Bring up the torch level too. You dodged it? Okay, this one. Clears all corpses. There you go. I'll play stun resist. And now you're dead. There you go. Oh my god. But how broken is that? Be wary. Okay. Triumphant pride precipitates a Plus stress. Fall. Plus monster crits. Monster surprise though. Bring that up though. Plus dodge, plus scouting, plus monsters. Goes down quick now, don't it? Hello, <gasps> gimme, gimme. Ooh, thank you. A fortune waiting to be spent. Getting dark. Oh my god, that's really bad. Back. No, no stress, please. That wasn't that bad. Okay. Well, oh, look at all that. What? But why? How did you miss all that? What is the accuracy on that thing? Ah, and I got bleed. Look at that. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Kill whole party. Oh my! I don't think these things are unholy. Human, unholy, oh, unholy. Oh yeah. It does tell me. Ow. There's bleeding, you can rack it. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Does it take on my turn? No, it doesn't. 15 damage versus on home. Or plus 15% damage. Open vein, I think I could open vein on this fucker. There you 
go. Now you make that corpse go away. And I stunned him. Oh, but I got buffed. Get fucked. Continually onslaught. Destroy I could de heal. Oh, that's a good old heal. Alright, this is GG right there. Absolutely wrecked. What this? Can I even open this? Chest out with your family sigil. Ooh. Ow. Fool me once. Fuck you. Yowdy move. There's a trap right there. Do I have anybody that could take out traps? Wait, I think. Can I just take out the trap if I know it's there? Right there, right? Disarmed. It's fucking wrecked. Gotta explore 90% of rooms. Does that mean all but one room? Basically. Let me see. Okay, that's way too much debuffs for my liking. Yes, thank you. The exurgents of adventure have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. Eat four food or gain 5% health. Got right. the food for it. Got way more food. Got a shovel. If I don't use stuff, does it make. Do I keep it? Oh boy. <gasps> They're surprised. Okay, now don't fucking miss. Okay, then. Miss, I guess. I could stun those back ones. Oh, I didn't get stunned. Oh, what? How, what? Fuck. And they're gonna be. Oh, but he got blighted. Oh my god, that was big damage. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, don't miss this time. Oh. What is the accuracy on that shit? Holy fuck. Okay, you. You're getting, you're buffing this, man. I said Reese of the Rain. Is that for this round? Oh my god. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. When a hero is reduced to zero HP, they are at death store. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties. Plus, any further damage is a chance to kill them. Fuck. Okay, he's not fucking anyone. Now, luckily, I can clear corpses. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh yeah. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Heal before they kill the man. They got the corpse. What? You missed. Plus one five damage is mark. How do I mark someone? Probably not able to yet. Oh shit! Okay, I. F oh my god! <laughs> Why did he do so much damage right there? Is it because of this? Oh my god! But a victory nonetheless. Continue adventuring. Let me let me hold on. Let me. Pug. Oh yeah, now I could get the fuck out of here. Oh look at all that loot. But 
God, how broken is that? Okay, so I, I guess I don't take that stuff back. It sells. Okay. So if I can use it, I guess I'll just use it in there. Debuff stone. That's sick as hell. Nocturnal, minus two speed if torch above 75. Don't I have a fucking thing that gives me more damage if it's above? <laughs> oh my god. Minus 5% crit. Okay then. Suffers intense need to do specific actions. Minus 10% damage if... Or plus 10% damage if torch is below 26. Obsessed with food. Stress heal received in brothel. Oh my god, I got so much like bad shit. The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. The circus has come to town. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in a sanitarium. What is this? Don't like more shit. I did. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Heroes relieve stress by taking part in the activities at the tavern and abbey. Each activity has different side effects. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero depending on their quirks. Committing a hero to an activity locks them into the activity until the next week. You have to take a different hero with you on your next quest. Oh my. The cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Okay. Look, so it's more stress. I think this guy could literally only be here. He can only pray. This butcher circus. Oh, no. I need to make this guy. I need to take him and you reduce his stress. But I don't think. Oh, yeah, I do have people. What's this? Oh, these are trinkets. Brothel. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll upgrade that once. And oh, wait, I meant to bring him in there. A thousand going got enough. Hey, how much would it cost to take him to the abbey? Don't have to spend that much. A thousand gold. Okay, it's the same thing. I guess for some for some people, it just work better than others. It's like one. How long is a week? Is that like one run through a thing, or one run through, or is it like seven runs? How long is a week? We I mean, I can't exactly be picky here, can I? To fight the abyss, one must know it. Is this really worth it right now? Probably not. I'll probably do this one first. Great hero. Right now. Okay, what do these? Cruel. What is. Oh my god, he looks sick. Fear mankind. Plus 15 stress versus human. Minus 10 accuracy versus human. Huh. Is there like a difficulty to any of these? It's like this one easier than this one. All right, well, let's, let's make another run. All right, second run. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Right click on a hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up a detailed panel showing off all the hero's quirks, skills, and resistances. Curio. Ooh, got some stuffs. Oh, come on, dog. You're lucky. You're fucking lucky. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. The Red Plague. What the fuck does that do? Put minus it. Oh my god. Alright, you just gotta fucking do that, huh? Got it right here, apparently.
done 100. These guys aren't exactly stunproof. Impressive. Hit them. Hey, look, you actually hit them. Monsters with high prot. Some monsters have high prot, which absorbs attack damage. Dots, blight, and bleed ignore prot and are effective means to take down these highly armored. Oh, okay. I mark myself, but also buff myself. Okay, then. I didn't know they did that. Haha! -ha. What does this thing do? Skills? It has no skills apparently. Aha! Death. Get killed by the bleed, bitch! Unforgiving. Oh, the crit though. Give them no quarter. Escape cloud. The whole damage. And gave me fucking blight. Oh shit, I skipped that. Continue the onslaught. Oh yeah. Destroy them all. There's gonna be a battle in here, right? Yeah. I wanna make him bleed since Penny's got fucking that shit. High prot. Aha, you can't hit me, bitch. Oh fuck. Fuck. Oh, he dodged it. What a man's man. Just feel everybody for a little bit. Momentary abatement. No, I'm already marked. Bitch ass. Do another heal. Apparently I could crit the heal? Bug? Oh, fuck you. And I got blighted. Mark prit. The good thing I took out the dude that could have ran into marked. Well, there's that. Bitch ass. Rabies. Oh my god, so much blight. Oh my god. Oh, the crit. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. So much shit. Mon, you bitch. I can't believe. I could at least fucking take that out. Actually, I think it's good that I went into a fucking battle. And then you could be a bitch ass about it. Oh, got the good one. Guess the dog didn't leave a thing. Back you. Oh, I guess it's gone. Oh, that crit. Ouch. Fuck you. Ah, only one. Expedition at least promises success. Come on, look close. Need this one room. Both have eight health, but he's fucking. Oh, the crit heal! But how broken is that? Wait, you're not bleeding anymore. Fuck you. Oh yeah. Momentum. 
push on to the task end. So close. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Is it not explore? God. This is in 90% of the rooms? Oh, it's not. Fuck. Come on. Come on. So close. Fuck you. You're lucky. You're so goddamn lucky. Please don't be a battle. A battle? Okay, I did it. Hell yeah. <laughs> God, I was so lucky. All oh, the money, though. Oh my God, I'm fucking rich. But how fucking broken is that? Only this guy? Nocturne? Oh, fuck you. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Okay, so it is after each, each, uh, each time I go into the thing. Apparently, since this is a new week, I got new this. Oh my god. Well, I guess I should. I'm down to take uh, hints, or like tips about this game too. Got anything that will help me? Put it down in the comments. <laughs>